this brown. Uh, number one, when we started the eighth the program this summer, we were not told that it would be a continuation. Okay. On here says source of funds, federal funds, Title I. If you're looking at high school student, is Ramsey a Title I school? No, ma'am, Ramsey's not okay. a Title I. Okay. You're using Title I funds, and I'm with April knowing how much is going to be donated. Because, you know, we have to be a little skeptical of using Title I funds because it can come back and bite us. Yes, and I'm with Lord as far as helping the students. But when you're putting out this kind of money, it should help more than a few students. And I feel that you all should not have gone into an agreement with Kevin. Because now Kaplan getting a large amount of money from the Birmingham City School Systems all of a sudden. This is not the first time Kaplan name has come up. And I'm with April on this. We need more information because we're about all the children and not about one, two, or three children. So we actually need more information. If you all have to have a call meeting to get it together, we need more information. Lord, I'm for the students, but this is not going up the right way. It's just like a wagon circling, and we're caught in the milk. Thank you, Ms. Brown. Ms. Williams. Uh, I 100% um, uh, support providing services to our students. I am also 100% committed to being a good steward of the dollars that the public entrusts in our care. And if you're telling me we're going to pay over $1,000 for less than three months of Saturday, that's a total of 12 maximum classes a student can participate. Four hours of a Saturday. I, I'm not convinced that that's the best use of our dollars. And whereas we have a desire to provide services to our students, the administration, Dr. Witherspoon, has the responsibility of following the prescribed procedure to get prior approval before obligating this board to any financial obligation. So, that's not on the board, that's on the administration. So I'm assessing from what your previous statement is that you've already paid up to $50,000. I don't think we've made a payment yet. It was pending board approval. Mm -hmm. Well, you said that you had up to. Well, again, uh, you know, so, my state, that statement was, was, was not intended to say uh, you know, any procedure or process was, was skirted. But what I meant to say, and I apologize if that was uh, the way that came out, uh, we, we, what we did do, is, uh, again, in terms of, of time and getting things started, yes, we say to any vendor, you know, it's subject to board approval. Okay, another, even course, written, you know. another question. How many students do we have currently registered in ACP prep? as it relates to expending beyond $50,000. I know this is a program, or is this considered professional services, or where are we as it relates to the law? Well, there's, there's, there's not a law, it's a board policy that, that speaks to, that speaks to uh, a limit as, to, as it relates to how much of the extent of board and state be law, there's a lot. State law, yeah, fifteen thousand dollars on a tangible item. So this test isn't a tangible item. We'll that. Yeah. 
Ms. Williams, I have the number from last Saturday. We have 260 students registered for ACT prep. And so how much was the assessment? Um, so I'm going to have to pull the cap and contract, which I can, to tell you exactly how much was the assessment only. Dr. Witherspoon, if there are contracts that I would think that they would be a part of the board package. Uh, and Ms. Williams, I was just looking, and this is not showing up on mine. Uh, typically, we do. I pulled it up on mine. It's uh, not and here. And it's not, not just laying over to Ms. Alexander's. Uh, and yes, we have indeed sent those. I don't know why they were not attached at, at this point. But typically, they are attached. Thank you, Mr. Williams. Mr. Watson? She was waiting on the petition. Oh, we'll wait. That's no problem at all. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. All right. While, while she's pulling up, I can kind of make my comment is I'm still looking for a, um, we, need, we, need, we need some guidance. We need some, because uh, I definitely think we need to table it, but at the same time, we got two and some of our students we've already committed to. Of course, you're looking for a response to because we have we have two motions on the floor and we have to um, Ms. Williams' motion has been seconded, mm -hmm. and so we have to vote on that motion from that motion. But I think my question is still part of that. My, 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 my question is really related to that. Understood. Hopefully, we can find some. We got to figure out. Whether it is, whether it is, we make sure we come back next week to um to make to make it happen or, or something. Uh, but this can't linger very long. Um, I have a question, <clears throat> Miss Miss Gardner. Okay, we're, if you're proposing to purchase this from Catherine and Associates, have we looked at other vendors and done a, a comparison of programs as well as costs? We looked at one other vendor, mm -hmm. so we compared two of them. We went based on the results, like who gets the best results. That is what we use. Mm -hmm. What was the price difference between the two? The price difference was similar between the two. The price difference was similar. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Ms. Martin. Yeah. Ms. Hendricks. Williams, I actually have to apologize. I have a correction. I was incorrect. At every high school, so we have seven high schools, we, this contract, which should have been in here, we contracted for two ACT classes per high school, a maximum of 30 students each class. That's 420 students. On Wilkerson and Hudson, we contracted for 30 students a class, only one class. That equals 480 students. Excuse me. Sir. per student. Currently, we have 260 out of the 480. Currently, how many? 260 showed up this past Saturday, and the total amount for capacity is 480 for the 317,000. So that's $660 per student. So you're just you're anticipating increasing yes, ma'am. But you don't know for sure that you'll get 480. Right, but we want to open it up to 480 children. Any 480, we want to take it and do it. 
Thank you, Ms. Gardner. Ms. Hendricks? This, this is a clear indication why we need more information on the front end. We, we should not ever be put in a position, and I, I heard you, uh, Mr. Watson, when you said that we don't want to deny this, and I don't want to belabor the uh, activities for any of our students. I don't think any of us would, but in this situation, we didn't. In this situation, we've already allocated funds before we had the opportunity to decide if we want to do it. So if we decide not to do this today, it is in no way, in my opinion, or for me speaking, me not supporting our children. It's the fact that this is just not brought to us in decency anymore. We're still calculating on the spot the itemization of funds that we're spending for our children. We're, we're talking about what our intent was in terms of how we allocated the funds and what we anticipated for our children, but we're asked to, to vote on definitive dollars. And, and I, don't, I don't like that. I don't like that feeling. I don't think it's genuine. And I think that it's actually not responsible fiscally. Because we're doing this after the fact, and we're just finding all of this out as we're asking you questions from the days. This is not the way that we should roll out a program system-wide. If we were going to even spend 480 spots for students, and the parents don't know any of this, and we're just finding it out here, then we're just not doing a good job of, of the way that we communicate and effectively roll out the academic programs for our children. It, it's just unfair, and, and I, I don't want to be perceived as someone who's not supporting the needs of our children. My child is in this program. So I, for one, would give up any dollar I could for my own child and for all of the children that I serve. But if I don't have confidence that the children at Hudson and Wilkerson and these different satellite locations are going to be able to be the beneficiaries consistently of the programs that we're trying to put out, then I think we're put in a very, very awkward position making financial decisions without that clarification. Thank you, Ms. Hendricks. You do a contract. Is there a termination ability to reveal that? So, an option would be that we agree to move forward so that the kids that are there, second element would be if we don't have those. If we don't fill those 418 spots, then we're not paying Kaplan for those seats. Is that correct? That is correct. Yes, that is correct. So? Yeah, and for example, what we did this summer, we paid for a certain number of seats, and the ones that we didn't use, we had them bring it over for the kids for this semester and next semester as well. So, my, my only question would be to move it forward and not stop, you know, uh, the, the program, we know that we can we can terminate it and we if, if we have the analysis and the contract distribute, we had a special call meeting, Mr. Watson's question was, is there a solution? And I would simply put that as an option on, on the table. It, 660 and the ability that if we are not paying for a seat, if we don't get to our <coughs> goal of 480, um, then we're not paying for those seats. So. Thank you, Mr. Tatum. Ms. Brown? I followed you, Brian. I understand you. You also made the statement, if we don't have enough children to fill the seats, it will go to the next semester. Yes, okay. We hadn't heard anything about this. We hadn't completed this one, and you said the next semester, we have not been notified that there will be special school, Saturday school, next semester. It opens the door up again. Communication. Mr. President. Ms. Williams, I have a couple more of your <coughs> colleagues who would wish to say something. Thank you, Ms. Brown. Mr. Collins. A um, couple questions. Um, I think Ms. Brown may have touched on it. Now, if we don't fill these seats, does that change the price per student? Um, but but we're saying that's just gonna roll over. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I'm I guess I'm trying. My second question to that, and you can answer both of them. Do we anticipate this same cost 
next semester? I mean, next year? Or do we anticipate so, more? Mm -hmm. So, when we started this in the January to May term, when we first started Saturday School, we entered with a co-teaching model. So one captain instructor and one of our high-performing PCS instructors. And the plan was that halfway through Saturday school, the captain instructor stops teaching and our teacher starts teaching while the captain instructor coaches and develops them. So that we stop paying captain. We had planned to do that this upcoming semester, but our teachers felt like they weren't ready to do it by themselves. Again, so that in January we can say we are not paying captain anymore. Our teachers are ready to do it by themselves. Okay, just a follow up to that question. Then, if we don't fill up, yeah, and our teachers are taking over, where is that three rest out three hundred seventeen thousand? That means that Kaplan, if we don't fill up, Kaplan has agreed that they will offer the services for free to, to meet that 480 quota. So what that means in January moving forward, if we decide to go ahead with this, and we only have 260 students for next semester, Captain will come and show up and teach the remaining students at no cost. Okay, but I thought we would be taking over at that time. Right, so we would be taking over and we would have free Captain instruction. No, we would have paid for it. We, we would have paid for it on the front end. <laughs> yeah. So they, in other words, when we give them a check, they're not refunding any money. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Collins. Ms. Williams. Um, what I, I would like to remind us is that we approve what's before us. There isn't a contract before us. I haven't reviewed it. Has our attorney reviewed it? Our attorney hasn't reviewed a contract that you would like to enter into. You're asking us to approve without essential information, only getting answers by questions. Again, there's a motion on the floor that's been second to table the item. Thank you, Ms. Williams. Is there any other discussion? Board members? Centuries. Mr. West, do we have lots of practices where we get in the business of paying vendors and then rolling over services depending on what availability we do or do not have to avail to our students? I don't want this to linger. This needs to be handled expeditiously. So, um, we 
know what time frame you need to have quickly. Thank you, Mr. Watson. Uh, to that. Uh, thank you. Mr. Collins. Thank you, Ms. Burnsley. Um, point of clarification. Um, if we take the lens, does that stop our Saturday ACT program? I mean, I think you, you, said, you said it might. Yeah, so we will have to go back to Kaplan okay. because the contracts are pending board approval for the board meeting today. Okay. So we'll just let them know that it's not approved today. It's being tabled pending further information. So it would be up to them? What yeah, they, they, may, they may say that we're not able to use their services. Um, however, we can come up with a plan right now for ACT Saturday School where we may um, expeditiously get our teachers who've been co-teaching in place ASAP for this Saturday. Yeah, they Yeah, so the only course we may incur with that is, um, no, we won't because we have our books and materials from the summer. So I think we are actually... Now we, I may have to come back to you for uh, extra books and materials if more children show up, but that shouldn't cost three hundred and seventeen. Okay. Are we good with that? Oh. Thank you, Mr. Collins. Are there any more board members? Is there any other discussion in this matter for seventeen? Purchase of the diagnostic testing packets and customized ACT class packets for CAT. Any more discussion? Now we gave the test on Saturday. We may have to pay for the test. I don't that, let me find out the course because we already gave it on Saturday. That first pre test that the kids took. Understood. All right. Thank you for that information. Board members, is there any more discussion in regards to 7G? There is a second motion on the floor to table. It's been moved and properly second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? That motion is carried.